Since its inception in 1972, the Bronx Arts Ensemble, or BAE, has proudly served the Borough of the Bronx as a nonprofit music and arts organization. Their mission? To enrich the cultural environment of the Bronx and its diverse communities through music education and performances of the highest professional standard. BAE concerts expose Bronx audiences to a wide variety of musical genres and styles, and their volunteer board of directors are committed to providing quality programs, made possible only through a collaboration of public and private support. Well, to most people, the Bronx isn't known for its cultural institutions because people don't know the Bronx. But if you knew the Bronx, you'd know that we have so many wonderful organizations, and one of them is the Bronx Arts Ensemble. And it's not just about the music that they do. They, they play beautiful music. They have many concerts, some of which uh, I support with state funding. But it's more than that. It's, uh, it's the programs that they have in schools. It's bringing music to kids in many of the elementary and middle schools uh, throughout the Bronx. BAE is not only raising the cultural IQ of the borough, but the real IQs of students across the Bronx. With their innovative arts and education program, BAE is working with principals and educators who have been forced to find new ways to bring the arts to their students. It provides uh, an additional arts component for our students uh, that we're not able to offer to all of our students. Uh, so it fills a nice niche for them. We provide music instruction and art instruction for all the students, but we just can't afford to provide full-time dance instruction in addition. So this really provides a, a necessary component for us. BAE enhances and complements the arts curriculum in these schools, providing teaching artists to help instruct students in various disciplines, ranging from drama, visual arts, dance, and musical instruction. When we won the grant, I said that is the partnership that I want to establish. Could have gone to Lincoln Center with everybody, but I said the Bronx Arts Ensemble, I like the way they work with the students. They bring the best out of the kids, and the children really enjoy working with the artists. And so whenever you get into some fiscal constraints, and we're in one of those periods this year, you see arts programs uh, on the chopping block. In recent years, the Bronx Arts Ensemble has been very much involved in the schools and particularly in programs that uh, I have sponsored in several schools to bring music education to kids. And uh, we have a program at PS 56, which I visited a few months ago. And it was really amazing and, and inspiring to see these kids who never had an instrument before, playing the violin after only a few months of instruction. Stringed instruments are really beautiful instruments, and they really require a relationship between the, the um, instrumentalist and the instrument. It requires a lot of concentration, it requires self-discipline. The children come down to their rehearsal days. In the fourth grade, they rehearse two days a week, looking forward to the program. They all have their eyes focused on that one instructor. I have listened to them practice scales, practice notes, practice holding the, the violins, and I can see that this is something that is also transferring into their everyday school life. And it is something that they have learned to work with, not independently and not just for themselves, but for the good of the whole. And they've really acquired a lot of skills and talents, not only in reading music, but in handling this, that is really going to carry them far. The Bronx Arts Ensemble went out of their way to come into our school to see exactly what our needs were and to work with us to have a program that was going to meet our needs, they are um, only, only concerned with making sure that the program we have is going to be what it is that we want. And they've provided us with a, a resident artist who is phenomenal. And these instructors are most often working artists as well, drawn from the arts capital of the world. They bring a level of energy and talent into the schools that permeate the lives of the students in ways that can't simply be measured by a grade. It's always rewarding when you hear from a teacher that, you know, some student is not behaving well in class, but when they come to violin, they're totally focused 
And actually, a lot of times, the more you know, problematic kids in class tend to really connect to the violence. The Bronx Arts Ensemble has been um, a wonderful organization that has really given me the tools to become a greater musician, an even better teacher, and you know, it's been such a joy working with them. It's good and plus like if on my resume and all that it would be really good in the future plus I'm gonna keep on pursuing it when I go to high school and hopefully even in college and I really like Miss Coco she's really cool. I like it a lot it's really fun because Miss Coco makes it fun to learn and not only does she make it fun to learn but it's easy to learn from her because she gives us strategies to do it. I think violin is good like you get to learn new songs accomplish new songs and then you feel good when you accomplish it because it feels like you can do anything. It's a good discipline. It's good for their coordination. And there are many ways of uh, learning to play the rhythms. And we clap and we use words and we use drums and we use body movements to incorporate uh, the rhythms. And finally, we do them on the violin. I think their persistence and their perseverance have really touched me. It's been very, very difficult for them, but they show up every week and they show enthusiasm. And they even take, I think, uh, during their lunch break, go to Miss Gardner for extra lessons if they're confused. And we've come such a long way. Well, I love these kids. They're really cute, and they actually do work hard. Um, and they, you can just see that they're having a really good time learning and that they really enjoy dancing. They need this outlet. Um, they need to learn how to communicate with each other, which they're doing a really good job. Um, in the first week when I started, they were fighting. They were punching each other. They didn't want to dance like, oh, I don't want to dance with a boy. And now they don't even think about that. Now it's really about like working together. They want to look good. They're really working hard, as you can see. Someone who's going to walk by this room is going to see a bunch of children from the Bronx, teenagers no less, tough group, teenagers. They're going to see them doing the waltz, the tango, the foxtrot, the cha-cha, the rumba, things that they would not normally get. They're international students. They do not have the language. I have seen through movement how they are attaching the language with movement. I love this group. They, they don't even have dance shoes, right? They don't have beautiful costumes, nothing. They're dancing in their bare feet and they love it. And they will dance all day if they could. And certainly the skills that these students learn through the Bronx Arts Ensemble's programs are ones that will stay with them forever. It's a terrific experience and it transcends uh, the pleasure of music and is really important in the education of kids. And this is what the Bronx Arts Ensemble is doing, not only at PS56 but, but elsewhere as well. I think it's very key for children to be exposed to this. So I think by helping a little bit to bring this to our schools, I feel like I'm really being, uh, making a difference in the lives of some of these kids. And as I said, watching those kids smile, nothing beats that.